Black Clover yet again continues to make me more and more hype for what is to come with the furtherance of this arc. My weekly excitement for this series is just ridiculous at this point. With the last one, we learned of Yuno's training alongside the spatial magic user, Langris, as there seems to be a plan in the works to defeat Xenon. Elsewhere, Asta and Libe continue their Devil Union training to no avail. With loss after loss and a lack of available time, Knot would henceforth sentence them both to death. Now with their backs against the wall in this shadowy hellscape, the two would go beyond their utmost limitations in order to fulfill their goals and protect one another, as we receive a glimpse of some incredible new power. With the latest chapter, we open up to the Spade Kingdom, wherein Zenon began to inquire about the status of his brother to none other than Morris. Now this is absolutely insane, why? because this is a man we have known about for quite some time. The mastermind behind some of our more powerful adversaries during the first hundred chapters or so. And with his overtly cruel experimentation in the Diamond Kingdom, was responsible for the fates of Ladros, Fana, and Mars, amongst many other unfortunate souls. And this is the very first time we see him in full, as he promises to fix Dante of the Dark Triad and make him even stronger than before which is absolutely terrifying on so many levels, as previously, the guy was already able to take on the entirety of the Black Bulls by his lonesome, only but less than a week ago. Morris is a really dangerous man that I wasn't expecting to make an appearance like this here, but boy am I excited to see where this goes, as for right now, I don't imagine he'll be completely defeated should this go sideways for the side that he's on. And if you notice, Lotus, from all the way back during the first few chapters of the story, is here too, although I doubt he's much of a powerhouse or anything. But anyways, Morris would speak of how vital his contributions thus far have been for the Spade Kingdom, and so they should have a bit more faith in his abilities if nothing else. And that although the betrayal of Mars forced him out of his position in the Diamond Kingdom, his current situation is far more interesting, expressing his gratitude. Meanwhile, Dante was just itching to see Asta again, which I'm sure will be quite the round two and will likely serve as the first true display of Asta's current capabilities. Xenon would then be sure to question if everything was going according to plan, to which Morris would confirm with the cosign of Lotus. Lotus, who knew that what they were dealing with was very, very bad, as we see a titanic creature reminiscent of Light's demonic form that the first Wizard King defeated, cementing his name in the Clover Kingdom. As we then also received a look at Captain Yami and the Captain of the Golden Dawn's current sacrificial predicament. Moving on, we'd see the devilish chambers of Knot have air pressure rush all about with a massive blackened gash through it as Asta clutched onto the demon slasher katana. The devil power would flare out from his body from all over as he lowered himself from a downward motion. From here, we see Knot to the side of this slash with sweat trickling down his face. Apparently, Asta had purposefully avoided a direct hit, but still managed to completely remove Knot's devil union on his arm, despite making no contact. Knot felt his magic erased, along with the darkness they were once both in. Anti-magic was truly as magnificent as he imagined, and that if used at full power, Asta will truly be the strongest, as he then admit defeat. Now being exhausted, Asta would quickly get excited before urging Not to leave with them, but Not would refuse, as Gimodello would be completely shaking at this point. And with this, Asta was just completely confused as they'd finally done it, they had used Devil Union, so what was the problem? Well, in actuality, they'd only managed to do so for a very brief moment. The technique, however, has still yet to be mastered. And this is something that Asta too knew in his heart of hearts. And Libe knew it as well, that if they were to go as they were right now, their deaths would be certain as Knot would then say that with the use of his shadow magic, he'd observed Asta and the entirety of the Black Bulls for a very long time, that he knew Asta's entire story, that his life was plenty difficult, 
but he was always righteous, and that despite his earlier sentiment that the righteous aren't always rewarded, he'd still like it to be the case. Now smiling, he would leave Gimodelo behind, saying that they'll do their best until Asta arrives so the two better do their best to hone their skills and join the fight, to which they would both enthusiastically agree to. As Gimodelo was just shaking in fear for his life as his fellow devils just remained silent. However, with time now being up, the elite squadron of Clover Kingdom wizards came together in their pursuit of victory and retribution. And poor Seke, man, the poor guy always seems to find himself in dangerous situations. But yeah, that is the chapter, and man, oh man, am I happy. First of all, Knot is really such a great character. For him to have only just been around for so long, yet be up there with some of my favorites, says a lot. Now, in regards to my thoughts on Asta's Devil Union form, I am very fascinated. I am very curious to see what is going to come from this. Because at least for right now, it seems like Asta doesn't even need to land a direct hit for his anti-magic to proc, which is crazy. I mean, he is already hard enough to deal with, and so if you are just in proximity to him and he is just making your magic disappear, there is very little that most characters will be able to do in the face of this. And although at face value it may sound broken or overpowered, I have the utmost faith in this mangaka. Tabata really knows how to keep power scaling in check. He has thus far for the entirety of the series and I don't imagine that is going to change at all. Because when you look at it, most of the powers, most of the magical capabilities in this series are pretty busted. I mean, let's be real, Vanessa has a cat that can literally change fate. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to soft magic systems, this series has one of the best when it comes to modern shonen. And beyond that, I know Black Clover gets a whole lot of Naruto comparisons thrown its way, but I say them in the best way possible because Black Clover has a tendency to take things I enjoyed or wish were better from Naruto and take them to the next level. This whole waiting on Asta thing reminds me of Naruto pulling up to the Hidden Leaf with Sage Mode to save the day from pain. And that is one of my favorite moments in the entire series. So yeah, I am hyped and I hope you are too. Please leave me all your thoughts on the chapter in the comments down below because Black Clover needs to be discussed as much as possible. And if you'd like to see more of that sort of thing on the channel, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for notifications. And if you'd care to support us further, please consider giving our Patreon a look because when it comes to bringing you some of the best Black Clover content on the platform, Plot Armor has you covered. As always, I am Slice of Otaku. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.